morning. Uh, bonjour. Uh, merci beaucoup pour uh, l'invitation. It's great to, to be here again. I was just saying to Dick, I think the last time I spoke to uh, this important group was in uh, 2011, so it's great to be back. Uh, since that time, uh, my family welcomed uh, twin babies in September, so we now have four children, including our twins, who are now uh, nine months. And as I like to say, thank you. <laughs> And as I like to, uh, to joke, uh, the third twin was planned, the fourth twin was not planned. So we are uh, very busy in our household. And uh, when I say that uh, I lead one of the fastest growing parts of the city, uh, I'm, I think my family is kind of leading the charge in that regard. So thank you very much uh, for inviting me. And thank you for feeding me this morning, which uh, is also a challenge with uh, four children nowadays. Uh, I want to uh, extend on behalf of uh, Mayor Tim Watson and my city colleagues uh, a warm welcome to the second annual Ottawa Immigration Forum organized by the o Ottawa Local Immigration Partnership. This date was chosen for the forum to coincide with Multiculturalism Day in Canada. And I want to thank Olive and the Réseau de Soutien de l'Immigration Francophone de l'Est Ontario, your co-host today, for asking me to speak to you about why it's so important for Ottawa to be open, equitable, inviting, and welcome, welcoming uh, for new uh, immigrants to Canada and to Ottawa. And I'd like to recognize and uh, thank uh, those who are participating here from our diplomatic corps, uh, other elected officials who will be uh, joining you today, uh, the council, City of Ottawa colleagues, uh, Dr. Burry, who have uh, worked to help uh, co-organize the forum, uh, members of uh, neighboring municipalities, uh, colleagues from Citizen in, in, in Immigration Canada, and uh, our local school boards and universities and colleges, and immigrant community leaders, uh, and from, um, um, from our settlement services, as well as health and social services sectors, and of course, leaders on the voluntary sector. So I think I have everybody. I, I know we are uh, a big group, and that's great to see so many people who are participating today. And I'd like to begin by talking about how vital uh, immigration is to Ottawa, and the role that uh, the City of Ottawa and municipal governments must play. First, I think we can all agree, immigration is key to our city's prosperity and vitality. L'immigration est essentielle à la prospérité et à la vitalité de notre ville. Without immigration, Ottawa would not enjoy the population and labor force growth needed for our economic, social, and cultural sustainability. We are fortunate in Ottawa that our immigrants are choosing Ottawa as a place to call home and to raise their family. In Ottawa, we have the chance to assist in an augmentation rapide de our population of immigrants. In 2009, approximately 6,300 immigrants chose Ottawa as their new home, augmented by 2,700 temporary workers 2,300 students, 460 humanitarian admissions, and 440 refugee claims, we welcomed a total of 12,000 arrivals to our city. Ottawa's population has changed greatly over the years. In addition, 11% of the children and youth living in Ottawa were born outside of Canada. And if we count in the second generation, a much larger pool of Ottawa's children and youth are children of immigrant parents. 31% of seniors in Ottawa are immigrants. And immigration is responsible for 100% of Ottawa's net labor force growth and 79% of our population growth. And so immigrants are increasingly contributing to Ottawa's growth and its development. And I see that, I think, on a daily basis when I travel throughout my constituency of Gloucester, Chef uh, It's growing very rapidly uh, and it is a very multicultural and diverse community. If you're following the newspapers the other day, we had two stone lions that came from China, two statues that are going to be in a park called Water Dragon Park in the heart of Barhaven. And as I said in the media, that is something you would expect to see in Chinatown, but not in the suburbs. But I'm not surprised to see it in the suburbs because obviously Chinese community and new Canadians live throughout our city and not just in the established communities that we tend to associate in our city's history. So despite this, um, this growth, despite this uh, great diversity that we see in our city, we tend to struggle to fully capitalize on what immigrants can offer, such as their intellectual capital, entrepreneurial drive, and international connections. Pourtant, nous avons du mal à profiter de tout ce que les immigrants peuvent apporter, comme leur capital intellectuel, leur esprit d'entreprise et leur contact à l'étranger. 
In our favor, we are a very attractive city for immigrants. We have the second highest average salary per person in Canada and the highest educated workforce. Nous avons le second salaire moyen par personne au Canada et la population active la plus scolarisée. Our employment rate is stable and usually under the national average. We are a community that is rich in many cultures and enjoys a diversity of ethnic backgrounds. We offer a gorgeous green city with abundant parkland and beautiful waterways that is also home to countless outstanding attractions. So it's critical that we keep forging partnerships with the immigrant community and we keep, keep building even more welcoming cities so that we continue to attract and retain immigrants. A cornerstone of our efforts to make Ottawa a welcoming community for immigrants is the Ottawa Immigration Strategy, which was launched exactly two years ago and I was happy to be part of that. It is a comprehensive and collaborative strategy that is improving local capacity to attract, welcome, and integrate immigrants to our city, and in doing so, contribute to the prosperity, vibrancy, and inclusivity of our community. The City of Ottawa has a lead, is a lead contributor to the strategy, and we ensure that the strategy aligns with the key plans and priorities of the City of Ottawa. This strategy was greatly needed, and it has already succeeded in key areas. All three levels of government and the local stakeholders know what is at stake. Elected officials and administrators know that if Canada's capital is to be successful in enhancing our economic, social, and cultural vitality, we must plan to attract, retain, and integrate immigrants. This will not benefit not only immigrants, but the entire Ottawa community. Partners in the Ottawa Immigration Strategy know that the settlement and the integration of immigrants has multiple complex challenges that need to be collaboratively and systematically untangled and resolved. They know that successful immigration is a community issue and not just an immigration issue. They know that immigration affects and benefits all sectors of the community and that we all have a role in ensuring the settlement and integration of newcomers into the City of Ottawa and our community. The goal, the overarching vision, is to help newcomers to settle and to feel at home and to become contributing members of the community as soon as possible and to maximize their potential. Nous visons à aider les nouveaux immigrants à s'installer et à se sentir chez eux ici et à devenir des membres contributifs de la communauté dès que possible et au meilleur de leurs capacités. With clear new directions, engaged stakeholders and committed leadership, we're already improving the settlement and integration experience of new Canadians. And just yesterday, we launched an exciting new initiative Welcoming Ottawa Week, or WOW, at a breakfast reception at City Hall. Welcoming Ottawa Week is an expression of our community's welcome to immigrants, as well as a celebration of our local diversity. This week puts a spotlight on immigration as an important part of our city's sustainability, economic prosperity, and cultural and social vitality. So I urge everyone here to uh, seek out uh, new ways and to share uh, best practice and, and ideas as part of this uh, important forum. I again want to thank everyone here. Merci à tout le monde ici pour notre travail. Thank you for your commitment. Thank you for your dedication to our city in helping build a great, inclusive city of Ottawa. Thank you again for the invitation. Merci beaucoup.